Welcome to Let's Play Spore Carnivore! Oh, you didn't expect that. Um, uh, if I'm honest with you, I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty much as far as I wanted to honestly go in the herbivore game. I, I don't like playing necessarily as a herbivore all that much once we get to the space stage. And I think I kind of covered more or less the basics of what you need to do. You just, you gotta get your planets, your spice flowing, and just buy parts, and that's how it goes. So I'm, I've gone as far as I intended to with that. It's, uh, it's no more use to me to continue down that path, so I want to go ahead and start a carnivore playthrough. So when I do that, I look for a nice angry red looking planet. Yes, this one right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin in the cell stage, and uh, pro con contrary to what we did before, we're building a carnivore. Uh, gonna go normal, because that's what everybody wants to see, damn you all. And Angria is the name of the planet. So we've seen the cutscene before, I'm not gonna stick around for it. And, uh, oh yeah, contrary to what we saw in the, in the start of the original series in this stage, then we actually see that the mission statement is on the upper left. Now I've got the pincer mouth. And uh, as well as eating these meats, yo, then I can go ahead and kill these guys, and that's even more fun. Come on, come on, don't be afraid of the death. Oh yeah, look at that disgusting evil that we've perpetrated in the name of our own further gain. Ooh, this is gonna get ugly. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Get away from me. Okay, so the uh, scripted scene doesn't happen if that guy just automatically, naturally kills that spiky guy, so... Yep, oh, and look at that, those little guys that were a second ago below me, now I'm just gonna go ahead and chomp them up whole. Ooh, put myself into a dangerous position, though. I kinda wanna get the jet as soon as possible here, I, I don't wanna... I don't, I'm not really all that worried about the spikes because this uh, this mouth, this these, this jaw mouth, it works as an attack. So, but then I've noticed that if you go face to face with another predator that's trying to eat you, then you're if you got spike to spike, then they're going to be uh, they're going to be blocking it like right there. But if it's spike to jaw, then it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't block. So. He's obviously going to be a tough customer if he, if he keeps his face to me. So let's just get ourselves up larger. One more chomp, and then I'll be ready to mate. Alright. Here we go. So let's call our mate. Eat this little guy. Chomp him up in one gulp. Now I'm going to be skipping scenes. This is, this is the part where I skip scenes. And make him a nice dark red angry color. Angry and Urgh, he's a nasty little bastard he is. Alright, let's let's swole him up. Move his mouths aside, put a spike there. Try to get these mouths in a little bit closer and then shrink his face again. And I think that'll work pretty well. Let me see if I can increase the size of those. This probably looks ridiculous as hell. I've never actually even tried it this way, so this is going to be fun. Alright, just using the escape button, I am not trying to take as long as before. So, alright. <laughs> Kill him. I'm, I'm not going to be able to get that big guy. And even if I do kill him, I probably won't even get the part from him. All the more reason to try. See, if you got a spike up front, you can hurt this guy. And he's, I'm, he's just coming head on into me, he can't touch me. Oh, yay! Awesome. So you kill the big guy, and he does drop his part. Excellent. Alright. Well, that's what I wanted to happen. See if I can get this guy. Oh, he wants to he wants to try and eat some flesh. All right, all right, fine. I'll just do my normal eating. Yeah. 
piss off, bro. Yeah, I, I really do want to put that jet on. Because this flagella is just so, so puny. You! I don't like you. Okay, this dual mouth thing isn't working out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and switch switch back. Just uh, take the spike and move it somewhere else. Go away. Alright, uh, let's see if I can just go mate, because this is going to be a real hindrance. Bad idea, bad idea. Dual mouths. Let's drop the spike. Let's put this back on the front. Still can't use the damn jet. Oh well. That's not going to hurt me none. Just get four more meat. And then I can put the jet on, and that will give me the mobility that I crave. Alright, so now this guy is less of a threat. And I don't suppose there's a whole lot for me to get in this particular section. Go away. Go away. You're not much better off as a, a meat eater down here than as a herbivore. Except these guys are gonna try and flank me. Look at that. Look at that action. Look at that flanking action. You look like you're gonna take a bite out of my mate. Showed him what for. Okay. Flagella goes, you know, I could have killed the flagella off and gotten the jet. Now that I think about it, I'm stupid. Oh well. <laughs> that, that just means I've got some more points. And that way when I want to put on the, uh, the cilia, then I'll be ready for it. So, nom nom nom, scarf, scarf, all right, Tra chase these guys down, and they're not going to get very far, hey, you stole my meat, I'm going to steal yours, get this, wonderful, Excellent. Let's get our cilia equipped. Yay. And then, uh, possibly even when I get to that part, the, uh, the poison. So I could take on these poison guys. They're... if you get them from the sides, it's okay. But you gotta be careful with that. I just want my payoff now. Chomp, chomp, nom, nom. One, one little bite, these guys are down. Oy. You can't really do much against that guy at this stage. Let me try and kill this guy. Yes! And that's the parts. That is my parts list. So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna work my way up to getting the poison and just eat my way through it. Don't mess with these guys. They're meanies. I'm, I'm coming out considerably more gentle than I did in my last run on this one. I mean, I'm eating things, yeah. Ugh! Ugly. Ugly. current seems to be against me to some degree, so I'm just gonna follow the way that the water goes. Got spikes on everything. It's hardly fair. God! Ugh. Where's all the meat? Got all this stuff you gotta kill? I can't do anything about these guys. They are they are strong arming me. Best I can do is just eat these living creatures. And now the tables have turned. Yes. Oh wait, electric part. I'm 
really not gonna need the charm at all. But, you know, just for the sake of completion. Now, uh, for this playthrough, the Better Spore mod may make a difference, simply because of the fact that it supposedly puts more monsters in nests. And that's, that's helpful, I don't consider that a cheat. Because the game, when it when it spawns a nest and there's not enough monsters in it for you to kill, then your game just more or less comes to a halt. All right, I can probably put on the uh, the poison jets here. All right. All right, I can poison. Sweet. Let's increase this and decrease those so I don't look so bad. Right, and that's it. This is uh, this is me for the stage. So let me just eat all these little bite-sized critters that are nothing to me. The spiky ones are still a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, vengeance. Good. So, yeah, I think I, I, got, I got all the parts I want out of this game. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be troublesome. Yay. Oh, bro. These little guys are coming around eating up all the meat, but they wanna, they wanna come around on me. They wanna go ahead and start this fight. So, you know what? Poison them, eat their meat. And then eat this guy's meat. And there you go. That's that's carnivoring it up. <laughs> Sucker guy is going around. He's got nothing to fear from anyone. Ow. Okay, these guys are prey right here. This this fellow right here is prey. Plain and simple. What? Who did that? Midget! <laughs> I'm going after your type. That doesn't do anything for me. I don't get anything from that, so... Yeah, those guys aren't worth anything. That's, that's shameful. This guy's just a nasty customer. So... Lure him into your little fog mist and... Away we go. Alright, that's that done with. <clears throat> Much quicker, I stayed a carnivore. Great. Gonna design my first little proto carny. Detach all the parts just in preparation for printing it up, and this is gonna more or less follow the same vein as the herbivore as far as just the shape I want to go with. Uh, I want to have uh, kind of a draconic creature, and there's one mouth that does lend itself well to to the draconic features there, so let's just do the same basic shape as before, giving him some back room there so that way we can get our uh, wing on when we're ready, raising him up because he's going to be a tall guy, thunder calf will work, we make this a little bit more muscular and beefy. Yeah, he's a strong guy. Put the beady eyes on. And the bug jaw. Which that's only for a placeholder to get started. Uh, and now our uh, priorities have changed a little bit. I would like the poison to get the spit maneuver. Because that's great for getting the attention of the, uh, of the enemies that you're going to be facing. And... Uh, Sprint is okay. I'll put the sprint jets on. Same as before. It's not going to change up. And now I'm going to choose the red scaly look. This one right here. Yeah, that's an angry looking bastard right there. Alright, so that concludes the uh, portion of the stage. Or the portion of the carnivore run. Mmm, carnivore. That uh, leads us up to the creature stage. 
Just wait for this to load and get onto dry land, and then we'll cut the episode. <clears throat> this is probably going to be the race that I uh, take on more of the space stage with, because of the fact that uh, it's it's just more fun to be a nasty bastard and fight. So I'm going to save this. Wonderful. And uh, that'll be it for this episode, so thanks for watching. This has been Let's Play Spore Carnage.